Good day everyone, welcome to our new video lesson in Modern Math. For this video, the lesson will be forms of the if-then or the conditional statement. Before I go on with the topic, so let's have a review first of the propositional logic. So itong video na to ay na-discuss the last video. So link will be posted in our description box. So propositional logic or propositions that contains a declarative sentence that is either true or false. So a declarative sentence, so those are sentences that relay information. Example, we have here Makati City is the capital of the Philippines. So that is either true or false. In this case, the example is false. And also we have here the combination of two proposition and that is known to be as compound proposition. So we have a compound proposition which are connected by logical connective. So ito yung example natin ng compound proposition. We have negation, conjunction, disjunction, conditional, and we have the biconditional. So ang basa natin for negation, we have not, conjunction is and, disjunction is or, conditional is if then, and biconditional is if and only if. Then we have the symbolic form or the symbolic representation of each of the following compound propositions. But for this topic, we'll only deal with conditional or the if-then proposition. So, doon lang tayo mag-focus sa if-then proposition. So, ang basa natin dito is if P, then Q. So, example of the if-then or the conditional proposition. So, let P is equal to I will pass mathematics and Q is equal to I will graduate. So, our if P, then Q is equivalent to if I will pass mathematics, then I will graduate. So, yung ating if statement is P, then ang ating then statement is Q. So, again, so if I will pass mathematics, then I will graduate. Okay, next example. So, we have the same propositions, but our given conditional proposition is if Q, then P. So, ang ating if statement is I will graduate, then ang ating then statement is I will pass mathematics. So that will be equivalent to if I will graduate, then I will pass mathematics. Then let's have the forms of the if, then, or the con conditional statement. So meron tayong three forms. So we have the converse, the inverse, and the contrapositive. So if our original if, then statement is if P, then Q, ang kanyang converse ay yung kabaliktaran lang ng ating if then in terms of the order of the variable P and Q. So, kung dito P and Q yung given, gagawin natin Q and P. So, this will be read as if Q, then P. And for the inverse, so we will have the kabaliktaran in terms of negation. So, kukunin natin yung negative statement ng P and Q. So, this will be read as if not P, then not Q. Then for the contrapositive, so ang ating contrapositive is just the inverse of the converse. So balikan mo lang yung converse, if Q then P, gawin mo siyang inverse. So gawin natin negation or not statement. So that will become if not Q, then not P. Okay, so these are the forms of conditional statement or the if-then statement. Examples, we have here the if-then statement. So we will have the converse, the inverse, and the contrapositive. So if our if-then statement is if P, then Q, ang converse natin. So just reverse the order of the letter. So that will be if Q, then P. Pagpapalitin lang natin yung letter Q, saka yung letter P. Then we have the same condition. Then for the inverse, gagawin lang natin yung negation, yung ating statement. So that will be if not P, then not Q. Or nag-add lang tayo ng representation for negation. And then for the contrapositive, so dapat itama niyo yung converse nyo dahil doon natin ibabasa yung contrapositive natin. So the, the contrapositive is the negation of the converse. So we have not Q, not P. So that will be read as if not Q, then not P. Okay, let's have several variations for the examples of the forms of the conditional statement. So we have here not A, then B. 
So if not A, then B. So ang converse natin, so we will just have to rearrange the given conditional proposition. Okay, na babalik na rin natin yung letra niya kasama yung not, kasama yung negation symbols. So that will be if B, then not A. So if B, then not A. So pinagpalit lang ng pwesto yung not A saka yung B. For the inverse, so we will just have the, we will have the negation of the given if then statement. So ang negation natin ng not A, sabi natin sa ating truth table, kapag siya ay false na sa negation, ang kanyang negation will be positive, will be true. So in this case, naka not na tayo, pag inuha natin yung negation nito, it will become positive. It will become the original statement. So if that is not A, it will become A then not B. So the answer will be if A, then not B. For the contrapositive, so puntahan lang natin yung converse. So let's have the negation of the converse. So that will be not B. And then yung not A natin will become A. Kasi hindi nga pwede yung not not. So kapag false na yung ating statement, it will be negated as true. So magiging true statement siya. So that will be A. So not B, A. So, our contrapositive statement will be if not B, then A. Third example, we have not M and then not K. So, that will be if not M, then not K. So, ang converse natin, pagpalitin ang pwesto, if not K, then not M. Ang inverse natin, yung dalawang neg negative, gawin natin dalawang positive statement. So, that will be M. And K, so that will be if M, then K. Then for the contrapositive, puntahan mo yung converse. So yung converse natin, i-reverse natin yung kanyang negative statement. So that will become positive and positive. So that will be if K, then M. Fourth example, we have if S, then not T. Converse, pagpalitin ng pwesto. If not T, then S. Inverse, pagpalitin ng uh, ikuunin natin yung reverse niya in terms of negation. So, so S will become not and then T will become positive. So that will be if not S, then T. And then for the contrapositive, babalik ka sa converse. Yung converse yung ating gagawing contrapositive. So yung ating not T will become positive, it will become T. Yung ating S na positive, magiging negative naman. It will become not S. So therefore, ang contrapositive natin will be if T, then not S. So again, if T, then not S. And let's have this part. So let's have this propositions. Let P and Q be the propositions. P, I'm in math class. Q, I'm at school today. So ang if then statement natin dito will be if P, then Q. So that will be if I'm in math class, then I'm at school today. So yun ang ating original if then statement. Pag tinuha natin yung converse, Pagpalitin lang natin yung Q and P. So that will be if Q, then P. So ang Q natin is equivalent to I'm at school today. Ang ating P is equivalent to I'm in math class. So gawin natin if then. That will be if I'm at school today, then I'm in math class. For the inverse, gagawin lang natin negative yung ating dalawang statement na letter P and letter Q. So we have here if not P, then not Q. So, if I'm not in math class, then I'm not at school today. So, ang ating P, I'm in math class, ang kanyang negative statement ay, if I'm not in math class. Yung Q naman natin, ang negative equivalent naman niya ay, I'm not at school today. So, that will be, if I'm not in math class, then I'm not at school today. For the contrapositive, so, go back to your converse and then make it negative. So, if I'm not school today, then I'm in math class. So, that will be, if I'm not at school today, then I'm not in math class. So, we have the converse, the inverse, and the contra positive. Okay, so let's have this uh, exercise. So, choose the correct answer for the forms of the if-then or the conditional statement. So, example number one or question number one, which of the following is the converse of if not f then g? So, pag sinabi natin converse, that will be the reverse o yung kabaliktara ng proposition natin ng ating if-then proposition in terms of the order of the variable. So, unahin lang natin yung letter G and then yung letter F. So, you have your 10 seconds para sagutan ito. Okay. 
Okay, times F. So if your answer is letter C, so that is if G, then not F. So your answer is correct. Then for our second question, so which of the following is the inverse of if M, then N? So pag sinabing inverse, ang idea natin doon, so that will be the reverse of the if-then proposition in terms of negation. So you have your 10 seconds again to think of your answer. Okay, time's up. So, if your answer here is letter D, so you're correct. So, ang ginawa natin, kinuha lang natin yung inverse ng if M then N by having their negation. So, that will be if not M then not N. Third question. So, which of the following is the contrapositive of if A then not B? So, kapag sinabing contrapositive, we need to get first the converse and then you will negate the converse. Ine-negate natin yung converse natin. So, ang converse nito ay not B, then A. If not B, then A. Okay, so you have your 10 seconds to answer. Okay, so if your answer here is letter B, if B, then not A, so your answer is correct. So nilipat natin sa unahan yung not B, pero kung natin yung negation niya, it will become positive statement, which is B. Then pangalawa yung A, so from positive, it will become A, not statement. So if B, then not A. And then for our fourth question, so we have here let P and Q be the propositions. What is the inverse of if not P, then Q? So P is equal to I will play basketball. Q is equal to it will rain today. So again, ang idea natin for the inverse. So we just need to have the negation of both of the variable P and Q. Yun ang ating kailangan gawin. Okay, so before we go on with our answer, so let's try to review first of our if-then statement. So, ang ating letter P is equal to I will play basketball. Ang letter Q natin is it will rain today. So, ang original if-then natin is if not P, then Q. So, ang ating not P is equal to I will not play basketball. So, we will insert the word not dun sa I will play basketball. So, ang ating if-then statement will be if I will not play basketball, then it will rain today. Yung Q naman, wala namang nabago. Q pa rin siya, it will rain today. And then for the inverse, so kunin natin yung negation ng not P, magiging letter P siya. And then yung negation ng Q will become not Q. So that will be if P, then not Q. So ang atin namang not Q ay the negation or the not statement of it will rain today. So we'll insert the word not and say it will rain today. So it will become it will not rain today. If I will play basketball, then it will not rain today. So, yun ang ating inverse statement for our if-then statement. And so, let's identify the answer for number 4. So, again, you have 10 seconds to answer this problem. Okay, so if your answer is letter C, then you are correct. So if I will play basketball, then it will not rain today. So that is the inverse of the statement. If not P, then Q. And then let's have your question number 5. So let P and Q be the propositions. What is the converse of? If P, then Q. P is equivalent to I will play basketball. Then Q is equivalent to it will rain today. So una, alamin natin yung converse. So pag sinabi natin converse, so that is the... Reverse of the given proposition in terms of the order of the variable not P and Q. So, pagpalitin lang ng pwes yung not P at saka yung Q. And then, convert natin to proposition. So, ang letter Q natin is, it will rain today. So, if it will rain today. So, ang pagpipilian lang natin dyan ay letter B saka letter D lang. Diba? B, it will rain today. Letter D, if it will rain today. Then for not P, so yung not P, so it will be I will not play basketball. So ano ba yung patumbas ng I will not play basketball? Or nasa ang letter ba yung I will not pass play basketball? So B and D lang yung choices natin eh. So yun yung I will not play basketball. If it will rain today, then I will not play basketball. 
And for the practice exercise of this topic, so we have the forms of if then or conditional statement. So please answer the given problem and write your answer in our comment box. Let P and Q be the proposition. So what is the contrapositive of if not P, then Q? P is equal to I will play basketball, then Q is equal to it will rain today. And that will be all for this topic. See you on the next video. Have a nice day.